Valve Lash, probably one of the most misunderstood things that we get questions about every day, and I'm here to tell you all about how Head Games does this. Check it out. First stop, I'm going to tell you guys who mark everything when you're getting your cylinder head rebuilt, just stop that. Because when you're going to get your head rebuilt, everything is getting machined. That means like the reface, the valves are going to get refaced, you may be using new parts. All of these parameters are going to change. And since they're going to change, marking where things went is not going to help you where they go. So the first part of setting lash actually starts at the seat and guide machine because stem height is going to dictate how much lash how much spring height and uh if you're going to need a certain size bucket there's always a range that this will fall into so if your valve is uh sunk or if it's not and then if it's not at the right height especially you guys using oversized valves it's going to change all of your geometry so head games does we have it on the paper that follows your cylinder head around there is parameters to show the OEM stem heights. So we know right off the bat, we stick a valve in there if we're off, if we're not. We know with a certain uh, manufacturer's valve and with a particular valve job, we know what the stem height is gonna be and it's gonna correlate with a certain bucket that we are gonna already know, keep in stock and be able to lash it quickly. And this goes not only for this 2JZ, but it goes for our Subarus, our Evo 10s, our Hondas, everything. All right, tools needed. You're going to need a torque wrench and you're going to need a feeler gauge. Now, the feeler gauge is a very important thing that uh, you get the correct shape. So uh, we suggest that we use a L-shaped feeler gauge. The L-shaped feeler gauge is going to aid you in being able to use it unrestricted in the cylinder head. See how... It fits in here when you use a straight one, you are gonna feel the tension of the feeler gauge itself bending, and that's not really what you wanna take into account. You don't wanna take account the friction of that. You wanna take just the measurement of the area of the base circle, which is this area right here. This is the base circle of the camshaft, uh, and it's in relation to the size of the bucket or to the top of the bucket. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're getting a correct feel of that. Now, when I say feel, exactly what these things are, they are a feel. And when it comes to a feel, we all feel things a little bit differently. And these are no different. Torque wrench. Why are we going to use a torque wrench on a cylinder head to do lash? Well, you want to make sure that when you put the cam caps on the, on the cylinder head and you tighten your bolts down, that you have the correct tension and um, it is correctly just how it's going to run on the engine uh, we're not going to do this today because well if you're watching this video it's only a minor instruction and if you really need that kind of instruction i'm sure that there is a youtube video for you a great tool is the cam card well the cam card is going to tell you uh their range so everybody has their own range the factory has their own range and so does the manufacturers some cam cards make it seem like you're trying to set a clock and you have to be on time. And if you're not on time, then if you're not on the exact number, there is going to be a problem. Well, I'm here to say that we follow pretty much the factory OEM specs and that's 6 to 10 on the intake and 10 to 14 thousandths on the exhaust. And we do that pretty much with every bucket engine and we never have issues. Uh, we like to stay to the higher side of that because well too loose you know it too tight everybody knows it but when you look at the cam card you'll see that there uh as i said every manufacturer they'll kind of tell you what what's going on here um head games actually as i said we have our own specs we go uh we have six to ten on the intake ten to fourteen on the exhaust and we don't deviate from that we will not set your lash to just one number and keep it all across does that sound like do we not care no it just it needs to be a range 
and it also needs to be arranged because eventually this thing will be torqued down to your engine and there's really no way of making that a reality here because there's different sleeves, there's different blocks, there's different, many different situations that we can't duplicate at the shop. Head Games does not check lash with the head assembled. We don't do it with the head assembled because we are going to machine the tip of the valve and we're not going to be able to take the head apart with the cams and everything else, uh, an assembly lube for every single valve for every valve adjustment. Again, there's a range. So with the range, we were able to do it unassembled and we check the lash here. We're simply holding the valve up. We we'll use our feeler gauge. We come in here and uh, a 10 is a little tight. You can hear the noise that it makes. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna push the bucket out and we're gonna go machine the valve. When I say machine the valve, I mean, we're gonna just gonna machine the valve tip. So we're gonna take off our material and see here. Take two thousandths off. So we come back over to the head and we check the lash. Now the lash is good. So bench lash and lashing on your engine is obviously different. You're not gonna have the equipment. We also don't have all the variables that you might have where you have engine blocks and all that, that kind of equipment. So we set it on the bench, we, you go put it on your car and you're gonna check lash and you're gonna say, hey, this thing's way off or it's spot on. Most of the time it's really, really close and it's within our range. So do you need to change it? No, does it need to match the cam card? No, it needs to match our specs. I hope you enjoyed yourself and like and comment below. I want to hear from you. I want to hear good and bad. Let's talk. See you soon. Toodles.